What's up, you guys? This is Dr. Matt up in V-Fit, pumped for episode 11 of V-Fit Live, sitting next to my bro, Kendall Rodriguez, CEO of QR Media. What's up, guys? Yes, looking freaking good. It's good to see you. His brother, Mikey, in the director's chair, working the camera. Guys, another amazing episode coming at you. Nutrition, movement, mindset, mm -hmm. self-care. So self-care, guys. Watch this one. Yes, hey, that's this one. Yeah, gotta check. We're gonna kick it off with self-care. Hey, looking into the movement side though, hey, we're gonna kind of talk about like stress recovery, how you should really be hitting your muscles, optimizing things from that standpoint, how to hit it, how to recovery, how to get the most bang for your buck and make these gains in a nonstop way. Nutrition comes, you guys, and we're gonna talk a little bit about, about carbs. Like, let's, carbs are important, hey, but you're gonna wanna understand this when we talk about these carbs today, what you really need to know, okay, when it comes to the carbohydrate flow in your nutritional pattern. Then mindset, dude, we're gonna get a little competitive. Mm -hmm. We're gonna get a little competitive today. We're gonna talk competition, break some great stuff down on that mindset side, guys. I'm glad you're here. Let's get this thing dropped. Let's go. Boom. Yes. Oh! Episode 1111. Dude, it's been an amazing morning That's so crazy. far. Good this morning. This is going to be a continuation of just a positive, strong, incredible morning, man. Um, dude, we're going to dive in. Let's get to it. Lucky number 11. Let's get into I'm it. I'm going to start with some self care. So you, you drop it because, you know, I was, I was showering this morning. And I'm nope. thinking, like, I'm running to him and I'm like, I'm really going to default to Kendall. Say on this no one. more. I got you, fam. Okay. Uh, Let's hear it, bro. Self care, one, self love. This is the. This is the best one so far, I think. Okay. Okay. Wow. I because, believe it, but. Okay, check it out. I'm gonna go as quickly as I can. Yes. So you're right here, we're right here. Yep. And then yes, the things are. that we're talking about in this show are over here, okay? They're just at forward a little bit. Sure. We'll, we'll say. Okay. So things like, uh, say, tracking your macros, or, you know, getting in here a few times a week, yep. or, yep. what is it, buying shoes, like, right? All that stuff right. that we've been talking about. Right. Like, taking, right? But there's a gate in between here and there. No doubt. And the price no of that is usually your time, your energy, or your money. So okay. what I wanted to spotlight today is that you have this thing in between where you're at right now and what you want to be doing, what you need to be doing, the things that are in the back of your mind at all times. Every time you ever see someone at work yep. or on Instagram that's yep. doing something fun or cool, yep. you think, man, I want to be doing I that. I want to be doing that. And the, the thing should, that's holding would, you back is you're saying, I don't have the time, I don't have the money, I don't have the energy. Yep. And that's usually coming not from just reality because none of us have the money. None of us have the time. Right. None of us have the energy. Right. It's coming from your guilt around other people. You're thinking, well, interesting. If I, you know, I want a handbag like that, but I can't because then my kids won't have right. this or my husband. Someone's gonna will... suffer on the other yeah. on the other side of it. You know, it. I can't. I'd love to take the time to weigh out my meal like you, Kendall. But but I have to make food for six for my, people yeah, every my night. My kids. And yes. it's just. I'm gonna miss out on sleep, Dang, or I'm gonna be tired, cool. or they're gonna cool. right. Yep. You know, I would love to be able to buy a new pair, uh, new body engineers thing like you, Matt. Yep. You know, sixty bucks, but you know, yep. I just don't yep. have money like that, or time like that, or energy like that. And what you don't realize is that you do it every day, every week, every month, every year with things that you actually care about, which would never go through that gate. They would right. just fly through. Yes. Like when you watch sports, or when you yep. watch a a, a, mo yep. a new movie, right? Yep. But with these yes. things that we're talking about, the, the, the things that you should be doing, you could be doing, that you want to be doing, yep. there's that resistance. Man. And, I, and I notice it. I yep. notice it so much. And I and wow. I really think about moms when I say this because I, I, that's moms a, I, are the I'm perfect thinking, I'm thinking candidate. I'm thinking my moms right now. They're the perfect yep. candidate for thinking, you know, I could never do that. I just right. don't have the time. Right. I don't have the money. I don't have the energy. And all yep. I'm hearing is I'm not thinking, oh, excuses, excuses, excuses. I'm thinking someone put that there. Yep. You're feeling bad. Yep. You're thinking if I spend over a hundred dollars a month on the gym, yep. my family's gonna look at me crazy. Yes. But here's the thing, even if they do, how long is that really gonna last for? You think they would do that forever? Right. 
Right. And then how long would that last in conjunction with you actually getting results Absolutely. and then you being happier yep. and you looking better? And that's, I think that's, you know, what I mean? and that's the trade off, you know, and so, I mean, that's perfect. And, you know, again, the Fee Fit Moms classic example of this, where I think, you know, what this becomes about for everybody really is prioritizing what needs to be prioritized. Yeah. Like, this isn't even like should, would, could type stuff. When I'm talking to your guys' health, your well being, your quality of life, what you're gonna do in here that will have positive and promising implications in other areas of your life that'll enhance it. Like, that's stuff that you need to be doing. Yeah. That you have to be doing. Yeah. And so we have to put it in a place and into perspective where it becomes a necessity. Not, mm. and not, again, and it's, I think, on that self care side, mm -hmm. it's just releasing yourself from that guilt yeah. and revamping that. A, it's repackaging it and going, like, I'm doing this for myself so that I can be the best version of myself for others. Like, I'm gonna make this investment here because this is gonna help me in other areas here. Like, it's a trade off. And you it is. You have to make the decision. And yes. It's not gonna make itself. Yes. There's never gonna be the best time. Never. And. No. And you have to make that decision and watch everything fall around it. That's what I'm saying. That's everything what I'm saying. Will fall in and the unless line. you take that leap, you're never gonna experience that. And I know so many people, they, once, you, once you experience it, you taste it, you realize, Oh, like dang it, I could have been doing this all along. You totally. realize you realize that it's it's okay. Yeah. Like finally it becomes legal in yeah. your mind. And you, you know, and legal, and yeah, you know, yeah. again, it's 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 a, it's there's a difference between creating excuses and that guilt can be a really intense thing it's that a, people can struggle with. It's a it's a magnifier on your excuses. Abs it is. It's a magnifier. It yeah. absolutely is. And I so I, I look at those very differently and I Again, we're empathetic. Yeah, I think that's why you're bringing it up. Like, yeah, we can empathize, not, but at the at the end of the day, it's, it's, we have to it draw It breaks my heart. Yes, it breaks my heart. Absolutely, to see the things that are holding people back, holding you back. And what you holding also you need back. to realize is the things that you do the least often need to be the most extreme. Hey, so for yes, example, bro. like yep. Yep. like when you brush your yep. teeth, there's no other time in a day where you're like putting something in your mouth and going, right. That's because you do that once, twice, three yes. times a day. Right. You, know, if you're, right. you know what I mean? Right. There's no other time b besides a shower where you get in there and you just scrub. Right. You know what I mean? Like, because um, yep. you don't do it all. And then with this, if you're doing it two, three, four times a week, it's extreme because you yes. don't have to do it every day. Right. And so I think that's something we should be looking at because I, I know that, so man. many people that, that are out of shape, yep. but they go to the gym every morning. Yes. They go at, more dedicated than me. But, sure. but they're not doing it extreme. They're just doing the, you know, yep. I'm on this, I'm and doing that, which is it. a good place to start. Yep. yep. But I just was thinking so much about and what holds us back. Yep. And whenever it comes to something extreme that's going to take dedication, that's going to take uh, a, yep. like a, a commitment as yep. far as our finances yep. or our energy yep. or our time, we kind of hold back. Yep. And but if it's yes. something we can do every day for 30 minutes yep. and it's on, we'll pay. Yep. We'll and continue I, to and drip, I, drip, drip, I love and that. pay. Whatever and I love it that. is. And it's that trade-off too, you know, to really close this great segment up because I feel like that's a, dude, that is really what this system's all about. Like, because I'm in here to get the most possible out of you guys. Mm -hmm. So while we might compare what a gym membership rate is and what it is to train here with me so like again you can go six days to that big box gym pay that monthly and you invest more in here and you might see me three two three four times a week but what i pull from you what we get out of this the results that we attain the long-term longevity sustainability like that's you getting the most bang for your buck that's 100%. something you can't get anywhere else no and so there is going to be that trade-off and that is that is life it's just that's the quality over the quantity. Mm -hmm. That's are you going through the motions or are you strategizing and actually optimizing? You know, and I'll tell you what, like to 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 close and say, like I have clients too, like you've said this, like in posts, like we're gonna understand, like we're gonna, you said, Matt, Dr. Matt's gonna work with you, mm -hmm. you know? And I mean, I have clients that they're sing, a sing, single mom, for example, who is like, hey, I want an unlimited package. I mean, this girl is a baller. She's incredible. Raising three kids on her own, you know, doing this, going to school. And it was a simple question. Can I simply split my dues? 
hits you here, PayPal you here. Same lump total in a month period. Of course, like, but this is someone who could make every excuse, who could feel all the guilt in the world and who makes it all work. And I have so much admiration and respect for that. Like, I'm gonna, again, gonna be understanding, gonna be at the, and we can make this work. We can find a way to make this work, man. It's just, yep. it's gotta matter to you. It's yep. gotta matter to you. And you gotta just, again, decide, choose, dive in, and then see that like everything can come together in a really beautiful yep. way. Man, heck yeah, bro. Yeah. Dude, that's, that was great, huh? That was great, dude. I'm pumped about that. Oh, really Freaking good. So good. Really good. I mean, I just, I, I would want to call it an episode on that alone, yeah. but we've got other stuff to dive into. Movement yep. being the first one here, movement, nutrition, mindset. Mm -hmm. Bro, hit me with your best shot. All right. This Sick. One's, this one's for all my Solid. bodybuilders, okay? All right. This one's for all my people trying to grow these muscles, okay? Yep. Okay. Okay. Dr. Matt. Yeah. How many times can yeah. and should... Okay. I'd, I'd be able to hit a muscle group in a week. Oh, that's a, dude, that's a great question. And that is, hey, that is, man, that is actually a, that's a fairly loaded question. So let me address, so the, the can, the, the there's, there are, there, mm -hmm. there are some, that's there are some, do there, there, that's, that's, yeah, that's amazing. There are some threads to this. So let me start by saying, saying this, like you could potentially hit like a muscle group. I would say like almost, almost daily. Like, I think there's an upper limit. Now, globally speaking, you guys, the frequency at which you hit a muscle group, uh -huh. and, and we'll get into kind of how we can package this, is really dependent upon the individual. Yep. It's like, we used to say something at USC, um, the physical therapists, like when you're posed with like a scenario, it's like, they used to say like, a, a lot of times it's like, it came down to this, you'd say, I got an answer for you, right? I got a solution, but it, it just depends. Like this is a big, it just depends. And a totally. big, it just depends on your recovery ability. Mm -hmm. So your ability to stimulate a muscle again and hit it again and stress it again, all depends on your recovery ability, your work capacity. Yeah. So you being able to turn around and that's me with this understanding and this upfront that like, I'm talking like quality work. Like that we're not just stacking on bullshit and just beating it down and we're breaking like that we are stressing, we're recovering, we're building, right? Yeah. So recoverability is huge. Now, in terms of like how we really can slice this up, like, so if you're gonna go with a high frequency training approach where you're gonna probably be doing something, let's take it, I'm gonna give you some concrete examples here. Some really tangible stuff with this one. I love this question. If you're gonna go kind of, I would say, so a higher frequency, like like a total body approach mm -hmm. to where like literally it's kind of like total body workouts where you're getting kind of head to toe, side to side, front to back. Mm -hmm. Like I'm really like thinking at a high end, to at a very, very high end, where we're talking about stimulation of muscle groups on a daily basis. Dude, you have to be so on point with your programming. I think high end would be like at best, I'm thinking like a four to six day frequency wow. mm -hmm. is high end. Recovery has got to be there and programming has to be dialed in. Yep. That is very hard to do. It's very hard to do. Mm -hmm. So that is something that, and, and I, I know this, if you talk to any true practitioner out there, probably someone with a legit scientific background who understands stress recovery, who understands programming, right? <laughs> right. Yes. Right. What? Wait, what'd you do it? Yeah. Hey, what? hey because when I'm programming for my VFit fam, I have clients who do train four, five, six days a week. Mm -hmm. So I have to consider them from a stress recovery standpoint. If they have the work capacity, they're fit enough, they have the experience, I can program them appropriately for them to be able to get six awesome sessions in, in a six day period. Yeah. It's very challenging to do. Yeah, because uh, often very really quick, to do. I just want to say that what I love about Matt's answer right now is that when people ask this question, they're usually coming from a place of when they're working that muscle group, they're doing the same one or two exercises or yes. movements, however you want to word that. Yes. So they're really asking, how many times can I bench press a week? Right. How bro. many times can I crawl? Right. And that's saying we can program this in a way where you might be coming in on a Wednesday yep. after, you know, with some sore hamstrings, yep. Because Monday we did some deadlifts, yes. And you're thinking there's no way I can do anything with my hamstrings, but, but then we do X, Y, Z. Yep. You realize you can lunge. 
Yes. And it feels good. That's amazing, bro. And they're not sore perfect. anymore. It's perfect. They're not tender anymore. Yes. Because we yes. programmed efficiently. That's it. Efficiently. And appropriately. So, appropriately. Strategically. And I that, just wanted to really no, that's, second that. That's, bro, I love that. And I appreciate that because that is what this comes down to is you have to have such an in-depth, intricate understanding of programming in variation across those days with that high frequency approach where you're yeah. total body in nature to where there's variation in exercise selection in methodology yep so that like the method work changes so actually what the protocol from a volume standpoint an intensity standpoint um and then movement patterning movement profiling within each session so i'm throwing out stuff people are like huh like again guys that's you know going into this like that's why like people hire me yep. to take care of programming. And I would have always said in consults, like the resistance training programming and yep. the weight is so difficult to do because yep. what you're seeing is people default to mm -hmm. unvaried programs, yep. monotonous. Yeah. Like, and like, like with their diet. Like exactly. Like with their diet and shit, you know, shit that you can get online. Like it's so hard. It's so like hitting the TV every time it doesn't work. That's it, dude. You think it's the that's same it. problem. You, it's and that's problem. it. And, and so with that being said, you know, you scale, so we can scale from there. So as we maybe move into, let's say closer from like, so maybe like a total body, real performance driven, but really like jack of all trades, versatile, well-rounded type approach where you're, you're hitting it like that, you know, you can scale in. So more basic splits, I'd say that would, we tend to say they're more body, but we're still though, we have to appreciate and understand exercise variation, yeah. exercise sequencing, volume, loading, stress recovery. We can turn something into like a straight upper body, lower body split. Yeah. So then let's say I even go six days of training, lifting, Upper body one day, lower body, upper, lower, upper, lower. But, but you would still need to be probably targeted. Like that lower body day, day one, day two, day three might be deadlift squat focus, lunge in focus. Maybe you throw, but like, you know, variation with those three lowers, yeah. variation with the three uppers. You know, when you go true bodybuilding, and I feel like, again, you can, that's a solid split. You're going to throw a little bit more uh, in terms of targets in a single session mm -hmm. with a total upper, you know, a total lower type thing, compartmentalize a little bit and you can scale into like what we'd say is a true bodybuilding split mm -hmm. where, so this is where probably I'd say you're blasting, you're blasting a muscle group or a movement pattern. Mm -hmm. Very specifically, you're probably hitting this once or twice a week. And again, though, you're going to have to be not necessarily so variation within the workout, like, cause if you're going to do 12, 15, 18, 21 sets for a given muscle group, you better have some, a, a battery to pull from. Yeah. Um, that idea though, guys with that body muscle, it just is you're blasting with so much volume yep. in a single session that it will necessitate a longer period of recovery until you blast it again. That's what I was so say. there's that trade off. Like I was saying, there's most that people are viewing how can I, well, the yes. question is how can I bench press more in a week? Right. And then they're they're talking about full, uh, like a PR or something. Uh, right. Usually. And, and, and that is another thing to think about, like with all of this, like, you know, I think, you know, I remember saying this way back to a colleague. Um, he was a, a ma he was a master student at, at USC and Dude, a knowledgeable guy, love this guy. I'm not bagging on him, but you know, came from this fitness realm and this lifting realm where he was like, like I remember had we had a discussion on like this idea of this idea of training to failure. Okay. Training to failure. I mean, this is back this is back 2012, 2011, 2012, where I was already you know I'm doing my research, you know I'm into the scientific side of things, but I'm really really I'm reading articles from practitioners who are in the trenches, like and just try knowing that probably like that I'm gonna wind up doing this applied work. Like I just knew my heart was going that way as I was even finished my PhD work. But I was like, yeah, you know, take every set to failure. And I was like, no way, dude. I'm like, that's, you know, your nervous system, like you're gonna break the fuck down every set to failure, every set. And you see this trend now, it's a, an intelligent, smart trend again from guys who know what they're fucking talking about you know there are a couple of the phds that i feel like that are like no like you've got to have an even an alternation and a sequencing pattern where you have those sessions that you crush that you're sub maximal you have those crush sessions that you are very max ever like the prs are there 
Dude, it's not a PR every time. It's not about that, like, you won't achieve a PR every time and you shouldn't be able to, right? We need to, we need to undulate intensities, volumes, methodologies to be able to get the most out of our bodies. Again, because this comes down to stress recovery and we are human. Mm -hmm. And again, some of us, I mean, we're trying to, you know, eclipse and surpass what we feel is normal. And I feel like we do in here, yeah. but we do because it's so strategic. Yeah. And we're not in here going like, yeah, man, fucking it's drop sets and supersets. And you know, and again, it comes from a mindset, guys, where you're looking and reading magazines out of like fucking Flex magazine that some bodybuilder's talking about what he's doing. And you have to under, understand and just recognize that like IFBB pro bodybuilders at that level are training that way, but they're also enhanced. I was, I was also going to say, you might be taken out of context. Exactly. Like context Absolutely. Is Context and, is everything. And I think what you've been really good at here at BeFit is treating it less like those, you know those blocks you get when you're a kid, the big ones, because you're because you're a kid, you're like a baby, yep. you can't yep. be trusted. Well, I think you're better with like Legos. You take things so small, and we take things moment by moment, Absolutely, day by day, bro. week yep. by week, and month by month. Brick by brick. When you, when Lego you check by out Lego. those articles or you're, or you're cruising the internet, even right now, if you take this out of yep. context, you're getting too big of a chunk. Absolutely, and you're not really, bro. the question, you know, it's a little hard to answer this yes. big question, it's a big block. Yes. But as we begin yes. to break it down into smaller blocks, yep. we can really give you the advice. And just like the insight of, I love that, hey, you can train, you know, I had someone right now in the live in the comments say, hey, well, I like to train one day for weight and one day for volume, and that's cool. Yes. But what Matt is saying here is, technically, you know, as all the parameters and things line up, there's an unlimited approach to how we can hit a muscle group. Unlimited. Especially, unlimited. especially yes. as you are working with someone who that's what they do. Yes. You can take your yes. hot rod to a hot rod guy and yes. there's unlimited we can do. Absolutely, bro. But if you take your hot rod to big brand tires, they're going to change the tires. Yep. They're going to change the oil. They're, they're going to say gonna that's, all, that's all we got. That's all we that's, can do. That's, we got to stop right and there. they're going to laugh at you and yep. say, well, what do you want? Another yep. horse out of this thing? Two horses? Okay. You take it to a hot rod guy, he's going to say, okay, this yep. is what we can do. Yep. Put you on a plan. Hey, and this is just the tip of the iceberg. We're, yep, and over we're going time, everything's oh, chrome. That's everything's what I'm got, saying. We're going to add layers. We're going to add layers. So that's, I think that's great. I love I that, bro. That is so spot on, man. Dude, I freaking love that. And like you said, we can go on and on about it Yep. because it's so multifaceted. And just knowing too, though, that like we really are experiencing something that's limitless. And I thought about that this morning. Actually, we bring this up. This question is perfect. I literally thought, you know, we're 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 heading into we're June. We're in month eighteen. I I haven't repeated a workout. Yeah. I haven't repeated a workout. I don't know how. Every protocol's been different from the day I started here. I've never repeated I know, I know. one Dude, protocol. I've been wanting to say this the whole episode. One, that's is hundreds that and hundreds of workouts. You have to. Hundreds and hundreds. You have to figure out how to have your go-to movements. <laughs> yes. To build that familiarity yep. and that mastery. And repackage it. you have it. to know how to, that's, yes, yes. To not do it the same way. To, and not that's, one that's workout so has advanced. been repeated. That's so it advanced. is. It's it like, is. How do I it create is. movements that are familiar? Yep. That I can master. Yes. But how do I package them in a way to where yep. I'm not tempted to do the same shit? Yep. Every day? And the stressors are it's novel. So tempting. Yes. To be like, yep. here's what I do. I do a squat swing. Yep. To a squat high pull. Da, 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 da. Comfort. And this is what I do. Comfort. This is what I do. And you Comfort. start to feel like I'm getting results. Yep. I'm not, and then that, then you plateau. Yep. Whereas our progression, it's it's limitless. Yeah, I That's love that. Awesome, I love that, so, bro. I've been yes. waiting months to oh. have this question answered. Oh wow! And I've had months. It, I've had it answered in in a few different ways, and I've even googled it. Okay. But I have my assumptions. But I really want to hear it from Dr. Matt. Okay. 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 Dang. So really, do your best for me. Okay. To unpackage and give me all the info that you can yep. about what a net carb is dude yes, what is bro. a net carb what yes. are net carbs got it my quest bar is four net carbs yep my tortilla is five net carbs yes what does that mean okay so that means at the end of the day net carbs guys so it's actually very it's actually very simple and so I, and it's been explained to me very simply okay but i can't believe it so i gotta hear yes. from you so we have when you look at carbohydrates basically so when we're talking about net carbs so net carbs is another way to say like carbs that are going to be able to be utilized by the body and that are going to elicit a response in the body that a, a carb would and, and i'm i'm actually talking specifically about like 
an, an insulin response. Oh, shit, I to Darn right. So an insulin response, which is really, guys, you know, it's why we, when we look at carbohydrate timing, nutrient timing, you know, it really is because we're getting a, a hormonally driven response from the ingestion of carbohydrate. And again, like a real carbohydrate, right? Mm -hmm. That that influences what's going on in terms of fat loss, in terms of hunger signaling. So it's important. It's important that, and that's affected by the type of the carbohydrate where, again, we can save that. So it's, you know, in general, because we don't like this, but like good versus bad carbs affect us differently in terms, so in terms of that response. But dude, it's not something to fuck with. Like that's why diabetics are like, dude, we've really got to manage this stuff. Cause like there is a legit, you know, acute hormone response, a, a systematic response mm -hmm. that's elicited from eating carbs. Mm -hmm. So the net is what we can use. It what's it's it's the, the carbs that actually is the response. We take this. So when we're talking about what we're subtracting from a carbohydrate total, where you're like, let's say something says uh, it has, it says t carbohydrates twenty grams, mm -hmm. but then it says the net carbs are five net grams, what's going on? So what's happening there is what is what is put in there and it's considered a carbohydrate, two main things. You've got fiber, okay? And you've got basically artificial sweeteners. You've got sugar alcohols. So something like um, erythritol or something, right? Where you're they're throwing that in. So like a, I've used that as a quest bar, like it's a minimal amount in there. But like, so you're gonna maybe see like a gram of erythritol, um, 12 grams of fiber, or did it, so they're going, well, okay, so you've got 12 grams of fiber, you've got a gram of erythritol, that's 13 grams total, the carbohydrate total is 20, so your net carbs are seven. Yep. And really all we're, all we're saying is that, so for one, fiber's not gonna be digested. Got it's it. passing through, it's not absorbed. It's like, that's why we get rid of that fiber. Got right? It. Sugar alcohols, same thing. You know, people out there are saying like, oh, sugar alcohols, the sweetness, it influences something in the brain. I don't necessarily buy that, dude. Mm -hmm. I feel like we're talking dosages with the sugar alcohols. We're like, we're fine to put those in a basically non-influential, non-effective carbohydrate source. Okay. So really you're just pulling those out. like. Dude, I am huge on low carb tortillas. Well, that's I, one I'm of, huge on them, dude. That's all I eat. It's, and honestly, and I tell you, in a world to where I'm not great about my vegetables. Oh, I eat you know, and I love I love that about meal. you. I know every I'm not meal. great about two it. servings, bro. And so that's amazing, dude. That's amazing. I, I mean, love vegetables, vegetables guys. Because I find how it works for you, bro. You do. I, I know. So I got I yes. pan fry all my stuff. You know, I, got I need you to cook for me. Bro. I will cook for you. I need you to day. cook me some veggies, you. dude, a weekly basis. But that's the thing. That's like, why you don't like them. I, I know. Have good veggies. It's so true, dude. It's yeah, so I mean, true. I know. There's a right about way. This. Yeah. I know. And and I, you know, so from a fiber standpoint, okay. though, like I mean, like I love like when we talk about most products with these net carbs, guys. I mean, we're oh, you know, shit. What's that? This died. The audio. Oh dang. The battery in there died. So we have shitty audio right now. It's okay. What do you think that we just keep rolling? I think we can. Switch, uh, switch, switch record, or so at least it'll be shitty for only yeah. a little while. Sorry okay. about that, Matt. It's okay. I like to look down at every once in a while and I realize yeah. it was dead. Yep. We're Sorry, guys. Second. It's okay. One sec. Oh, Should bro. I keep talking or just hold it? Mm, hold no, it. I'll have this right now. Boom. We've been nice. using them a lot. Dude, yep. More than ever. Charging them up, right? More than ever. Yep. I think they're triple A's. Okay, hello, hello. So, you know, I love, I love, so most of these, again, so it's, it's, it's legit, like, and that tends to be, so these higher fiber types of products, like, see how it hits your system, yeah. but that tends to be something meant, helps to keep me regular, yeah. I feel amazing, like, there's definitely something to be said, though, guys, like, so just in terms of tangible stuff, like, if you're in a situation where you need usable carbs, okay. you're a high-performance athlete, like, you've got to take a look at the net carbs because I mean, at the end of the day, like if you're eating something going, oh yeah, like, but you pack in a hundred grams of fiber in a day, like, let's be careful here. Like got there's something it. to be said for like, I mean, we want our body to so be able to- So are we to, tracking the total carb or are we tracking the net carb? Bro, from a, tracking, tracking, from a tracking standpoint, if you are tracking, yep. if you are tracking, 
Now I'm gonna I'm gonna take a look at. I like to. I'm gonna give you a spoiler. I like to track the re, the regular car, bro, bro, so that I don't go overboard, bro. Yep. But I do bro. keep in my mind of like a, a thirty to fifty percent window. You, or if I'm hungry, you took the words out of my mouth. I was I was gonna say I have thirty you took to the 50 words out of my mouth. Of those carbs that I like to play. Take with. the words out of my mouth. So bro. If somehow yep. if I have yep. the tortillas, I had some rice yes. and stuff, and I hit my total yep. for the day, yep. but I'm like. Yep. I'm a little hungry. You know, I tell myself, you know, I have 20 to 50 percent here. Yes. That I could get away. Bro, with that's perfect. And okay, cool. That's perfect. And 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 that's exactly so. Mm -hmm. That's that's the truest response because at the end Love of the day, we're looking at what's being used, what's usable. Yeah. I would look at a person, and if someone's like, man, um, you know, I just I'm low energy, mm -hmm. or man, I, you know, then we're gonna then I'm gonna take a look. Hey, like, what is that fiber coming in from, and what are these sources? And you might be hitting your, you know, 175, but shit, like you're getting 50 grams, 60 grams of fiber. Like, so we might have to consider, hey, like, so it, bro, that is the truest response that like really cool. in a tracking sense, you're looking net. I feel like, bro, but in the back of your mind, you can say, okay, wait, I have yeah. some wiggle room here. I'm not, I'm not trying if to, that looking at the moment to moment response. I'm and, not trying to and, depend yep. too much on any one like hack, if you will. No, bro. Like I don't want to be at all. like, okay, so I got my own. Oh five no, bro. Here. No, no, and no, no, no. That's a recipe for disaster. It is. It is because you're almost. It's like it's almost quasi cutting a corner. Yes. In a sense. So and I, finding a shortcut. So I, yes. Like I, this is where I can. Oh, but I have this. Just in case. So I like to track the whole thing. I love it. But then I like to listen to my body at yep. the end of the day. Listen and to say, your body, bro. Hey, am I hungry? Or you know what I mean? Because my protege taking the words out of my hey, mouth you sound a lot goes, like me. There's days that it goes the other way. Absolutely. There's days where I didn't actually get enough yep. nutrition. Yep. But I am stuffed You're good. and I'm full, and I'm not yes, going to beat bro. myself up because yes, I, love I have it. 22 more cards. And that is go. a beautiful balance to strike, and that's where I think yeah. people need to strive to be. Bro. Yeah. Dude, awesome. I love that. I was Mindset. I was hoping that's that you so, were gonna answer that. That's so good, bro. That was money. So money I, in the you bank. You like those carb tur low carb Oh, I too. love them, dude. I, I only get them because of they're you. such a treat to me. I love too. them. Yeah, I love them, dude. Put it on the side they're of approach. So just so good. good, man. So good. Yeah. Soft as fuck. Hey, and they're really good too soft, for soft, if soft, anybody meal soft. preps. They yep. really hold whatever it is. Like for me, yep. I get these sausages. They yep. really hold the hold sausages well. well. Absolutely. You can wrap them up. Great alternative if you want breakfast burritos, tacos. Yeah. I mean, mission. They make low them in so proteins. many sizes. I know. Yeah, I know. It's really cool. I love it. I love it. Game Same Matt. shape, different sizes. <laughs> Here we go. Mindset. It, yes, mindset. Okay. Hit me with it. This one's gonna bring out a little, a little ego, a little oh, pride. Okay, okay, okay. But I, but I like it. I think. I think. People need to see that kind of uh, um, that athlete in you come out. Oh yeah. So we have yep. the practitioner, we have the scientist, kind yep. of like right, yep. right, the researcher. How yeah. you want to work? But how about the, the athlete? Okay. 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 And this could be in business too, but and you got to be honest here, Matt. Okay? I, will, I will. I will. I will. I will because I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure. Do there's... you see anyone as competition? And if so, who? And if not, why not? That's awesome. Okay. Dang, man. Um, dude, I will, I will be. I will be honest with you guys. I mean, I will keep it very real right here. So, and don't I, only give me one of those bullshit. Like, no, right. Yesterday. No. What's I'm that, bro? Be, I'm trying to be better than my yesterday. No. Yes. So. Hey, because I think that's like the shit. global kind of like. Give me some real shit. That's the global answer where people default is to that. Everybody. Yes, and and that's like you're my company. That's the thing, dude. That's the thing. Like, I feel like I feel like there's a balance to this. I think first things first, like. We've got to understand, man, that like at the end of the day, like to, to be the best, mm -hmm. your best, one of the best, like that shit, like it's philosophical and ideological to where like, like you, the, the idea, like this isn't bullshit, like you versus you, stay in your lane, stay focused on your shit. Oh, that's all true. Yeah. That is all true. Yeah. But at the end of the fucking day, like, this world is based off of competition. Yep. Like, and comparisons happen. Yeah. Like, you go in to interview for a job, yep. like, there are five motherfuckers out there that are standing in line with their resumes yep. that want the same job that you do. Yeah. And at the end of the day, you guys, like, we cannot get past the fact that, like, to be first place, to be the winner and the champion, you have to beat someone else. Yeah. You have to beat your competition. I think even with personal goals too, though. 
Hey, yes, because and you that's, have to have that gauge. Absolutely, and that is, and that is, I mean, and so are you talking relative to yourself or relative to other people? So really? what I'm saying is, like, let's talk about yesterday. I was like, well, so-and-so's whatever, and you're like, worry about yourself, and I'm like, no, fuck you, bitch, you brought them up. <laughs> like, you fucking brought them up, not me. So yes. I do, I am looking at everybody else. Yes. Because that lets us know where we're at. Ab- because Sure. Because, because you think, bro. baseball players used to I not hear you. have the stats that they have now because there was no one to come. But now we have the last generation, and we just keep going up, and I love that, we have these yes. super athletes. Right. Because right. they're fucking competing. Yes. Now they have a bar. It's Absolutely. just about the bar. That's what no, I'm no, hey, no doubt. So like, no I doubt. see what you're no doing doubt. in here, and I know what my bar is. Yes. So now that in my head, yes. I'm like, every time I watch you work out, every Thursday when we're recording, yep. I know I can't do it like that. Dude, but yep. what I'm saying is that's my bar of like, okay, I saw he did this, or I saw he doesn't care about that. That's what I'm striving you know? for, sure. And especially, like, yes, I'm not going to lie, when you're, when you're shit talking back to me and shit, oh, I'm yeah. like, you know what? Maybe I'm not going to grab my towel until, like, halfway through the workout. Boom. Now. You know what I mean? Yes. So there is that competition Absolutely. level of even though I know I'm not going to beat you, Yes. I need that carrot in front of me. Dude, 100%. Because you never know. 100%. Sometimes you get lucky and you beat motherfuckers. Hey, absolutely, bro. You don't know. No, all right. I might come in next Wednesday just yoked and as like, fuck. And, like, what the fuck happened and, to you? Ass, How in the you fuck know? did this happen, motherfucker? No. Anyway, and, bro, right, and yeah, I, yeah. I love that, too. And, that's, and I think on that, so dissecting yeah. that, too, is, like, you know, you got to set your bars. You know, don't, don't drop an ego uh-huh. because someone's below that bar. Just appreciate that, like... Because we all fucking had our day one. Yeah. Like, we all had our motherfucking day one. So don't look at somebody who's, who's, who's working their way up. Don't tell them, oh, you're beneath me. No, yeah. appreciate that, hey, I've come a the long way. The relative thing you talk appreciate about. Appreciate them, respect them, pick them up, because they're looking at you yeah. and saying, that's my role model. Yep. You know, looking above and beyond, though, I mean, I've been wired this way to, I'm never settling. Ooh. Never settling, man. I mean, as soon as a pinnacle strikes and we reach that like it's like what the fuck is next i mean it's it's same day shit it's a hunger it is it's just because i ate a lot it's insatiable doesn't mean i'm not going to be hungry tomorrow and that's it bro and you're right the the carrot in front of you that that idea i mean there are so many people out there especially in business Mm -hmm. you know that and, and and just in this realm of what i'm what i think what i am what i am and what i am striving to become like because i feel like i'm in that zone like I'm up here and like, I, I really do believe humbly, but with confidence that I'm running with these motherfuckers. And it's just a matter of time. It's not like if, and when they're like, but I see people, there are people above me that I mean are running multi-million dollar businesses who have these brands. And I, so I'm out there looking at people, you know, so I'm looking at a guy like Tavi Castro who created body engineers who lives the lifestyle. And I'm like, dude, fucking Dude, and he's like in Greece right now with his wife and they're shooting content. And I'm like, fucking goals. Yeah. Like, and it's, so it's weird. It's like, that's competition, but it's, it's different too. Like, it's not so much like, it's not that I want to beat you. Yeah, it's not that traditional yeah. negative No, it's, it's like, man, like goals, man, stay on that track, stay focused because out there, somebody's paved a path, dude, to where, like, that success has left the, the clues. Yeah. And you can cue in and then I go like, dude, I'm, yeah. dude, and just know again in your own lane in asking yourself, are you doing what you need? Like, you, you have to scale back and go, am I doing what I need to do to level up in a stepwise fashion? I ask myself that you know, every night. At, before and that's bed. it. And you should be asking yourself that. And I mean, even in, you know, in the truest sense, like, yeah, like again, so in different certain maybe realms or contexts. Like when I hit the stage, of course I'm trying to beat these guys next to me. Like that's a concrete example of like true competition as an athlete, you know, but at the end of the day, scaling back and going like, dude, like, did I beat my package from last show? Mm-hmm. Like that's arguably more important than so me beating the guy next to me. At least as a base. A- as a base. And I think that continues on always. You always have to have yourself because no matter what, if you are doing what we're talking about, you can say, and it's cliche, I'm progress- that I was better than I was yesterday. Mm-hmm. But that fucking shit is important though. Like, yeah. don't underestimate that. Like, that is fucking huge. And so, cause I mean, we can't get caught up in just, it's just about the destination. Fuck that shit, the destination's gonna come. Yeah. We're gonna reach the peak, we're gonna reach the top. Like, if you can't step back and enjoy this one step at a time, dude, you're gonna get fucking lost in that shuffle really quickly. So going, dude, yes, I have come so far and I'm moving there. And you have to appreciate that. 
and that present moment mind that that feel dude is huge as well i love that i love that bro that's i like what you dude. said about yep. uh yep. having love for people that you see just starting a hundred percent and we're all about that in here yeah anybody anybody straying away from that in here in this music is, is gonna get the fuck out of here i'll kick you out because mm -hmm. we're so about we're family positivity mm -hmm. like this culture and this community like we don't mess around that is that is a hard line yeah. of just we're in this together yeah. we're in it for each other with each other and we appreciate and i also levels. think there's something to be said about having the respect for the competition above you like a hundred percent it's an honor respect. to be in the ring with absolutely them. man like not that like you know that I mean? we're not hating yeah and we're not jealous and, and envious it's not envious dude that it's respect it's kind of like appreciation okay. it's gratitude it's moves like okay i see you absolutely like, i see you let me but let me, i'm i'm and like yeah. you said i'm gunning for you motherfucker. oh yeah yeah i'm gunning for no, you no i mean that like yeah. you really no, are my competition no like, doubt bro. i would love to like one day my lat just to be like, yep. and you're like, what? Yeah, but you're I, a newbie. I'm like, hey, bro, I, I, genetics, bro. Yep, I love them. <laughs> genetics, bro. <laughs> bro I'm from what Austria. I'm from Austria. You yes, don't even know. Arnold. <laughs> All right, I what love do you it. got we'll for wrap us it up. Today? Hey, I want to do something kind of special today. Hey, because I want to be very clear with this as we wrap this up, guys. So, because we got my class rolling in. Yep, we're right on time. They know we just run slightly. Hey, I'm doing this. Check this out. So, I got? actually brought two things in right here. Ooh, nasty. So What's I brought that? in a Cellular Core. Is that fucking Star Wars? What is that? So, right? Looks Cellular Core. Carbon fiber. Alpha Amino Ultimate. And the Ghost Amino. This is a V2 um, bomb flavor, sour green apple ghost and Cellular Core. So quick backstory as we wrap this up, guys. Um, I've been fortunate enough to be on the content creation side um, with Cellular Core, with Nutribolt, Cellular Core and Extend. Um, since a, a little over a year so been fortunate you know they brought me on um with just it's a an amazing relationship with nutribolt cellucor extend um you know getting getting product from them generating content video written things that you know just very what i do the content side of things with mm -hmm. you know any topic you Dark can think of shit. yeah related to what we're talking about here like you know so for them so so I will come in and I just wanted to come in and say, like, guys, I just want you to understand this. Like, I can sit here and go, both of these products, Dr. Matt approved. Mm -hmm. I can say that. Like, I'm not a guy that's like, there's only one great product out there or one great brand. Like, I will be the first to tell you legitimately from what I've tried, what's tried and true, what I've used, what I feel is legitimate from a quality standpoint and what can produce results. Yep. And so I brought both of these products in. To one, to let you guys know that like, so if you're out there and you're like, man, I use Extend or I use Cellular Core, and people who've followed me long enough know that I've used these brands and I, I use them and I, I can implement. You use them all, man. Use, yeah, and I, yeah, right. And so, you know, when I say, okay, where do I, where am I finding my kind of like, my main brands right here? Like I, I can honestly say, okay, Ghost has been in it to win it for a while here. Yeah. But Cellular Core and Extend, I've got a ton of those products in my house. I might not use them as much, now, because I'm, I'm working ghost. But it might ghost. just be where you're at in the journey. That's it, where I'm at in the journey. Absolutely. And that's the point I want to say, like, that guys, and I've talked to Kendall and Mikey about this, like, when we look at a product, like, guys, I brought these in. Amino, right? The Amino Ghost BCA Essential Amino Addicts, Essential Amino Product. Same product here. Guys, I'm not going to do this because I don't want to take the time, but let me just tell you, these formulations are very, very close. Mm -hmm. Guys, the formulations, meaning the active ingredients mm -hmm. and the, the way a company decided to dose them, mm -hmm. right? So we can get a pure, a good, so a dose response pattern that is effective and results driven, results proven. Looking at data, looking at real world effects. Guys, the best brands, like, this shit, they're not reinventing these formulations. Nope. What what Ghost has done is they've leveled up on flavors yep. and their branding is second to none. Mm -hmm. The way they package this shit, it's yep. fucking gorgeous. That's why I've kept the first tub of all these products because hey. I absolutely admire this. Remember what your number one saying is, sustainability over everything. Yes, bro. And if you can, through branding and just a vibe, keep someone taking the supplement, man. That's more That's important go than the this distance. formulation that's being it. better. That's it. Because it's about sustainability, it. not it's about, better. Yes, and that's so, and that is that is a perfect tangent, bro, and a, an addition. And, it, and it's, 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 it's again, this is with levels, right? Yeah. Where I, we can say both 
Great formulations. Yeah. Both Dr. Matt approved. But then, dang, Dr. Matt, why ghost? And it's things like that where we that go next level. Just be like, the you know? flavor, the vibe, what I see on YouTube, how this comes through social feel. media. You know, but because at the end of the day, they too. They view your shit and they don't. That's it, right? The fact that I've, I've heard from Dan, right? And, and that's, that's it, right? And that, you know, it, it, who can, who, yeah, that's it. it. Might just make me do another scoop. Bottom line, bottom line. So, hey, so we're here talking about yeah. some of the nuances in this Dr. Matt approved kind of segment like that, or a product growth. So transparency. I had transparency though, because I want to keep it real with you guys. And I want you to understand what this is really all about. And this isn't some fake shit so that when you do get a recommendation from me and you are seeing me endorse something that that's fucking the real deal. And the real I love shit, that bro. shit, man. Love that, bro. That's You're awesome, the man. dude. Dude, this You're episode doctor, was so, man. was so freaking dope, man. Yeah. Um, we yep. appreciate so you guys there. tuning in. Absolutely. It's crazy that we're, we're finally hitting dude, episode, episode 11 right here, 10, 11, 12, double that, digits. Know, just, it's just crazy. Zero one one, guys. We love you. We appreciate you. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, V Fit Live, the question and answer show. Man, I'm Dr. Premier. Matt. This is Kenna Rodriguez. Mikey's been in the camera working it, man. We love you guys. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe. Mm -hmm. Stay up to date with everything we're dropping, guys. Yep. And um, until the, until the next time, guys. Uh, we'll see you yeah. soon, and we love you.